Hi, I'm Jan Kaiser, and I'm here at the Franklin Avenue Library. The kids are back to school, the weather is turning cooler, and we're celebrating Library Card Month at the Des Moines Public Library. Does everyone in your household have a library card? You know it's one of the smartest things to add to your wallet. They're free, and you don't even have to live in Des Moines to have one. Stop in to any of our six convenient locations for more information. Now that school is back in session, the library is a great resource for book reports and all kinds of homework help. And you don't even have to go all the way to the library for homework assistance, thanks to our live homework help. Online tutors can assist in all areas, including math, science, social studies, English, and more. If you live on the northwest side of Des Moines, I hope you'll stop by here at the newly remodeled Franklin Avenue Library. We've already had great reports from library customers who've enjoyed the warm, inviting colors, the new kids and teens area, the fireplace and the many environmentally friendly features. There are several programs planned to encourage visits, including an author talk by local writer Mike Wellman on Thursday, September 29th at 6.30 p.m. Another local writer, Joe Klein Sibuhar, will conduct a free workshop based on her new book called So Grows the Tree, Creating an Ethical Will. That will be on Saturday, October 8th, beginning at 10 a.m. Don't forget, we have our final AVID author program this month, too. Des Moines native John Shores will launch his newest novel, Cross Currents, at a free program at Hoyt Sherman Place Theater on Monday, September 12th at 7 p.m. This is his fifth novel, and it tells the story of several family members following the Thailand tsunami in 2004. Books will be available for sale after each of the programs. Do you know someone who struggles with reading? If so, plan to attend an adult literacy luncheon on Wednesday, September 14th at 11.45, hosted by the Adult Literacy Center at Drake University, United Way of Central Iowa, and the Des Moines Public Library. Pre-register online by Monday, September 13th at www.dmpl.org or call 283-4152 and push extension 3. Are you interested in stories for your children? All six library locations offer weekly story times for a variety of ages. Just a reminder, Central Library recently switched days for two of its special story times. Central Library now hosts toddler story times on Wednesdays, and preschool story times have been moved to Thursdays. Both story times begin at 10 a.m. And also, the Franklin Avenue Library added a new story time. It's specially designed for one-year-olds. It's called Fun with Ones. These new sessions are offered on Thursdays at 10.15. Kids at the Northside Library have a new way to learn the Dewey Decimal System. It's all thanks to one of our library specialists there who will be teaching multiple training sessions through the month of December. It's called Duck, Duck, Dewey. The very first class begins on Monday, September 26 at 4 p.m. Teens in Des Moines will want to stop into the library for all sorts of after-school activities. Enjoy Wii Gaming at the Southside Library, a teen fine arts club at the Central Library, and do-it-yourself crafts at various locations. Make duct tape bookmarks at the Southside Library or participate in Ball Olympics at the Forest Avenue Library. Teens can also find fascinating book discussions including Pizza and Pages at the Southside Library on Tuesday, September 27th at 3 o'clock. Books are available as well as free pizza and beverages. For slightly younger readers, be sure to check out the Crafty Readers programs you can select from several programs offered at the Central Library, the Franklin Avenue Library, and the Southside Library. Visit our website at www.dmpl.org for more details. 
Meet an award-winning children's author, Deborah Ellis, at the Franklin Avenue Library on Thursday, September 22nd at 4 p.m. And that's just a short list of all the upcoming events at the DMPL. Visit our website often to learn all about a wide variety of programs including Saturday specials, teen and tween gaming, and an energy sleuthing program with tips on ways to reduce your use of energy. Lunchtime yoga at the Library Lawn continues every Tuesday and Thursday from 11.15 to 12 noon throughout the month of September. Bring your own yoga mat and plan to meet at the Central Library's West Entrance. You can also find job assistance workshops, free bridge lessons, and monthly book discussions. And finally, a reminder about the upcoming Forest Avenue Library Fall Festival, planned for Saturday, September 17th at 11 o'clock. There's something for everyone, games, entertainment, and fun, fun, fun. For more information on any of the events I've mentioned or to see what else is happening, become a fan of the library on our Facebook page, log on to our website, or give us a call at 283-4152. And remember, September is Library Card Month, so be sure to bring your family in soon.